Minutes on Leadership and Life with your host. Thanks for coming back to Insights on Leadership and Life. We are having a great conversation this evening talking about young professionals, the Generation Y and the Millennials, and being an entrepreneur in this age. So I'm your host, Roberta Pickett, and I'm here with Aaron Allard and Jasmine and Tyler Hadrick. So welcome, you guys. Thank you. And now I really want to hear about your stories because I know you two have Boston Alley Fitness, and I want to hear more about that. You told us a little bit about it, but I'd love to hear more about how you got started. What's your, you know, what are your short-term goals, your long-term goals? You know, tell us about your business. Yeah, so... Um, we had just moved back to Amador County with our new little girl and coming off a big trip kind of around the world and we were just looking for like Now a had she up. been on the trip with you? No. Or she was born after you got exactly, back? Exactly, yeah. So we came back and you know we were just kind of still looking for that sense of freedom and you know looking for something to get creative with and the gym, what were we doing? We were downtown like at a yard sale or something downtown Cedar Creek and we saw the for sale sign in the in the window. So immediately, just my wheels. You looked at her. She looked at you. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of what started, and then it just seemed like a you know the right thing with you know us starting a young family and our business or our our background in fitness. So uh, we just jumped right in, and um, and we're going for it. And so yeah, it's been about it's been like we said four years now, and. Uh, Trying to grow little by little every year, that's one of the things that's constant. Mm -hmm. Always trying to do something better or more efficiently, so, yeah. What are your some of your goals that you have for the business? Uh, well, eventually we'd, we'd like to open up a second location. Um, we've got to get this first location running squeaky clean and maybe perhaps take a step back from this one so we can focus on a different one. Mm -hmm. um, with again with two young girls we we haven't quite figured out how to do that yet I mean I, I we're really focused on you know our oldest is just starting school so um, she's just now to the point where she's getting a little more independent and spending more time away from us and allowing us to focus on business and things like that some more but but we have a you know we have some time to really and because we are family oriented we really value that time with our, young, our little mm -hmm. ones so mm -hmm. Um, we know that that's an end goal, but right now we're not pressing ourselves to really get there. Do you see the second um, location being in Amador County as well or someplace else? Well, it's, it's up for contemplation. It could be both. It could be one or the other. Um, since I'm from Sonora, I have some ties in Sonora, so we're, we think there. That's a possibility, yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of just how the first location started up, the right thing will come, and, and we will know it. So that's another thing I get is you guys really trust the universe, if you will, or yeah. trust that things will come together, um, that the opportunity will pop, and and you'll know it in that moment. Is that true? That's very I get true. That, sense yeah. that is very true. That's kind of these guys make fun of me. They call me the, or they they always say I have the no plan plan, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we just. But it, yeah, it's it's worked for us, so yeah, we're gonna go with it. Well, that may be a. I mean, you obviously your background was in fitness and kinesiology yeah. and exercise, some physiology. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I mean, it's not it, that was an intention, obviously to to be in the to, field. Yes, to be it in was that an field. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a long term goal then, beyond um, creating a potential another location? Yeah, well, we you know we got the travel bug on our big trip, and we we do dream about a um, an overseas location, more of oh. a more of a resort lifestyle type of location that um, we fell in love with on our travels. So throughout the years, we've we and shoot also off. for kids, yeah, we, or we could no. time together. You know, it kind of depends on what comes up, but uh, yeah, it's. We're really excited about that one. That's, just <laughs> That's a, a fun one to dream about, road, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it um, there's certainly a focus on health and fitness and wellness and and fun. I think that's important to. I mean, so we can work fun into just about anything that we do, 
and as long as it's fun for kids, adults, people on vacation, then and you and us, yeah, and that's, it'll that's be important. yeah. Mm -hmm. I got that. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? What are the skills that make you good at what you do? Um, teamwork. Uh, we Tyler and I were talking about this. Tyler is the dreamer, and I'm the detail-oriented person. So I really feel like we make a good team in that sense. Um, you know, he'll come up with a dream like let's move to Costa Rica and start a vacation rental or something like that, and I'll be like, oh, whoa, we gotta <laughs> hold on. Let's take care of this, this, and this first. But it's one of those things that you know, okay, we got this. Let's now let's figure out, sit down, and figure out how to do it. So yeah. that, that's we make a good team that way. And you know, my one of the things my parents did really well is set goals. They had would have dreams, and they'd set that as a goal, and that was part of their joy was working towards that goal. And my mom even used to say, you know, achieving the goal wasn't as exciting as working towards it. So she says, as soon as we'd fit, get one, we'd we'd set a new one. Yes. Yeah. And I I hear that going on in the two of you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I think you're right on track yeah. there. Well, I wish you the best. And oh, I you. was telling somebody that you were going to be on the show, and they said, oh, that place is so fun. <laughs> so I want you to know that that was the word that was used to describe Thank you, you for sharing that. That's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. That's what it's all about in there. That's great. <laughs> great. <laughs> and Erin, you yes. have a totally different kind yes. of business going on. Tell us about yours, and you have a really cool project happening. So um, about 18 months ago, I bought my first um, investment property, which is a triplex in Stockton that I still live in. And um, that was great. That was something I had always wanted to do. And another thing that I had always wanted to do was renovate an old house. And um, my grandparents had retired to Pine Grove, which is close by to here. And um, so I'd driven through Jackson a lot uh, in the years going to see them. And I thought, well, I know that I can find an old house in Jackson, and I know it'll be a lot less expensive than the properties that I was seeing in the Bay Area. So um, I ended up buying one um, uh, with the help of a private lender. And so I uh, purchased the old Ryan house on uh, the corner of Pitt Street and Highway 88 and cool. um, renovated it. They had taken really, really good care of it. It was in excellent shape. It just needed updating. Just needed updating. <laughs> That's what I thought at the beginning, but it's a humongous house. Yeah. And uh, I did a lot of the work myself. And I had a lot of help, wow. too, from, from great local contractors. But because I did a lot of it myself and I was doing it for the first time, it took way longer than I, than I yeah. thought. And so what um, is it uh, the universal code? Which code did you have to follow in terms of your construction? Oh, oh I see. Well, actually, I didn't... I, I didn't personally do anything that needed to meet a code. Oh, I, okay. did, I did the the more cosmetic thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but the plumbers and electricians. Because that's where the just right. bringing it up to code can be. Uh, yeah, I mean, primarily it was it was up to code, but the just was all of the the cosmetic, you know, things in this room and in this room, and and you go on and on. So you have you've renovated a cool house to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. you, and you've really brought it up to current day. Mm -hmm. And now what are you doing with it? So I, I wanted to do the renovation in a way that uh, kind of paid homage to the year in which it was built, 1906. So it, oh, cool. it's craftsmen, so a lot of uh, maybe not original details, but redone in that style. Mm -hmm. um, and I have decided that, uh, well, I, I was challenged by my professional coach to sell it in a creative way because Jackson is a small rural market and it takes a long time for things to sell here, uh, typically. So, so I had heard about a BNB and b in Maine that um, the owner gave away the BNB b via an essay contest. So I thought that was really cool. So I kind of molded it into something that would suit me. Um, so it is now the grand prize of the Gold Country Home Recipe Contest. Mm -hmm. So there's a recipe contest going <laughs> on right now, uh, which my company is sponsoring, um, and the prize is the house. So there's a, my understanding is there's a $100 entry fee mm -hmm. to the contest. Right. And you have to submit a okay. dessert. Yeah, an original dessert recipe, um, and then the entry form and, a, and an envelope, of course. <laughs> yeah. um, but the idea is that, you know, there's a lot of local people, even in Jackson or Cedar Creek, who would probably love to own that house. Um, and 
we're coming up on cl close to the end of the okay. segment, so I want to know. I want people to know how to get find out about sure. this. So uh, you know, where do they apply? Yeah, the website is homerecipecontest.com. Homerecipecontest.com. Yep. And, and all the info is on that website. I love it. I and saw the sign today. Cool. Oh. Driving by, I'm like, yeah. what did that just say? Yep. That's, that's cool. That's me. So. Caught my eye. Yeah. Awesome. Sure. So it's on the corner of Pitt Street and um, 88. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The big blue house on the corner. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to have some action on that one. Yeah. What a fun thing to do. It has been fun. Yeah. yeah. And are you advertising across the United States then? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously with the web. It yeah, just, it reaching out to yeah. newspapers and blogs and magazines. Hmm. Well, that's very cool. Well, I I wish you good um, many, 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 many applications Thank to you. that. Thank you. So it more than covers your cost. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. And you plan to do more innovative type uh, renovations like that? I'm not sure. Um, I may move closer to the Bay Area and continue this kind of work because my family's out there and mm -hmm. all the work-life balance we're talking about. Um, so we'll see. Okay. Well, thank you. Both. That's great. Both of you guys are, or I shouldn't say both. All three of you guys are doing <laughs> wonderful things, and it's it's exciting to hear the different ideas you have. I love it. Well, we're going to come back in just a few minutes, and we'll have one more section uh, segment to talk about with these young professionals. So we'll be right back with more insights on leadership and life.